Hey now. Good morning. Good morning. What's happening? I'm here with my good buddy Donnie, and he's owner operator of Palmetto Dock and Salvage, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he does and show us a project that he's working on here in Daniel Island. Donnie, thanks for right. talking with us. Good to see you. Good yeah, man. You. Uh, how long you been in the dock building business? Been in uh, right at 20 years. Right at 20 years. Yeah. And you build docks all around the low country. All around the low country. Okay. Mostly Mount Pleasant and Isle of Palms and Allendale and McClellanville. Cool. Yeah. Um, what, uh, what got you into dock building? You know, I had an office job. Uh -huh. I got sick of working inside. I, I heard like, you. I got to get outside. Right. And a buddy of mine asked me to... Uh, Helping build a dock, and it kind of took off from there. All right, I man. didn't know I didn't know the difference between a two by four and a two by six when I started. Oh so man, that's cool! And he's been self, doing it twenty talk. years. Yeah, All right, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're here on Daniel Island, and he's gonna show us what he's working on. All right, let's go this way. All right, and so this is like a community dock that we're going to for this apartment complex. Is that what it is? That's right. Yes. Cool. The, the old one was damaged from storms over the last five years, and it was about 20 years old, so it was time to replace it. Okay, cool. And this dock is on the Wando River. Yeah, it gets pretty rough out here, so everything's got to be... Right. Built pretty solid. Okay, cool. Here we go. My guy's out here. All right. Get Taking them a little break. It's kind of hot out here this time of year. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's for sure. I think it's already 81 right now, and it's 9 a.m. when we're shooting this. And that over there is the Wando Terminal underneath the... Bridge. What bridge is that? Don Holt? I should know that. Don Holt. Yeah, Don Holt. There we go. I do know it. Let me zoom in and get the terminal. Got one little one and one big one over there. Here we are. All right. Huh? All right. And this yeah. is Donnie yeah, and his hair. crew here. Yeah. Just taking a little morning break. What's up, guys? Ooh, it's getting rough. Good morning. morning. All right. So, Donnie, let us know what's uh, going on here. All right. So, we replaced the center dock. This is all new construction. And we got six finger docks coming off. So, you got basically 12 slips over here. Okay. Slips for 12 boats. Okay, cool. Now, did you have to do that part too or no? No, that's existing. Okay, so cool. So it's just we'll put we're gonna put a roof on that when we finish all this. Okay, cool. We'll put a roof on that, and then after we get all this tied in, um, basically all the finger docks are uh, eight by thirty-five feet long. We hinge them, as you can see, it gets a little. Right, it's it those tugboats riding around. Hey, ain't no tugboats going underneath that lakes, bridge, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not any of our boats. <laughs> that was pretty good. So, uh, what what would be the hardest part about doing this? Like, what's the most tedious part of this job? The te the tedious part is getting uh, getting everything lined up, building it in sections, and then connecting so it's one solid piece. Okay, and then the hinge plates. We hinge, we hinge all six finger docks, and uh, it just it, it allows it to to, to sway float. with the right. Got you. Right. And these are the hinge plates that he's talking about here. Okay. And now, do you rent this equipment? Is all this equipment yours? It's, or? it's ours. Oh, okay. It's ours. Cool. So um, you just move this barge around everywhere you yeah, go with we, that on we there. We push it around with the small boats. We don't we don't go very fast. All right. So. No, I get that. Okay. Cool. But uh, these are these are jet docks for the uh, for the homeowners boats. They'll put these on here. Once we finish everything, we'll tie all this in, and and um, they're allowed they're they're able to keep their boats out here so they can get right. on the water quick. Keeps it out the water, so you know they just pull it right up on there. Yeah. And when they're ready to go, they just drop the engine and hit reverse and shoop, slide yeah. right yeah. out of there. 
We'll walk over here to the barge real quick, show you that. Be careful. Yes, sir. There's always something. Of course, I'm sure you're used to working uh, when things are moving around on the water. I, I my it's sea like, legs are pretty you good. Get, you get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is our equipment. This is one of our machines we keep on this barge. We got two others, and um, we just kind of jump back and forth from job to job. Okay, and this pretty much sets in the pilings. This is sets that... the pilings. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, it's pretty deep here. It's like 25 feet deep. Here, right. So. That's pretty good for the Wando pretty River. And this is the boat that you move it around yeah, with? That's, that's one of the boat. And then that other one over there as well. Okay, cool. So anyway, this is uh, this is it. And there's always something breaking down. Always something. Every day something's going to break down. So <laughs> I try to keep I try to keep up with all that while, while my guys do the hard work. Right so, now. I get anyway. it. I get it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for taking this time with us and showing us around the job site, man. Got it. All right. All right. Hey, thank you all for watching. Uh, my good buddy, Donnie. I'll have a good one. <laughs> <laughs>